So I want to build embedded search for a folder of markdown files. So embedded search for a folder of markdown files is the end goal. I wanted to run really fast. I want it to work on mobile. I want it to be up to date with information. I want it to work as reliably as we maybe just work reliably, <laughs> just reliable. So reliable, up to date, mobile, fast, um, solid fallbacks is important, secure so that other people can't access the server or at least it's password protected so that your notes don't get publicized everywhere. Always up or high up time, affordable. Look, I mean, as you can see, I haven't even really started talking about what the project is and we already have, you know, all of these basically demands, you know, a way to think about it as a developer is, and as a product manager, because as at, at, in, in these one person type projects, you kind of have to service both. You need to say, okay, this is out of scope and this is in scope work. You need to be able to actually go ahead and implement the code that's going to make that work. And then you also need to be able to market it. And there are, again, the benefit of building things just for yourself and toys that just uh, make your life easier. The value that I get out of a lot of the apps in the Obsidian space are apps that people just built because they have a problem that they needed solved. They were like, oh, I needed something to do with getting all of my tasks across Obsidian. Or I found this one plugin that I've been playing around with on my personal vault that allows you to take a folder note and just automatically uh, make a table of contents out of it. And I was playing around with it this whole morning. I was like, oh man, this is awesome. And it automatically updates. And you can see in the bottom section that the author of the plugin wrote this huge thing about like, oh, why not just use this more popular plugin? And their logic was, well, it was just too much for me. I needed a smaller version. And their version was perfect for me too. Because I funnily enough, agreed. I used the more popular version that did the thing and it would automatically index my entire vault. And I didn't really want that to happen. I, I kind of wanted a way to pick and choose which folders would have table of contents because my structure is laid out in a certain way that I, I kind of prefer, right? Because it works for me. So finding these customizable applications to build for yourself is a very easy way to make your life better, learn something, and potentially make other people's lives better too if they're interested in the topic that you're talking about. Okay, embedded search for a folder of markdown files that we want to be fast, we want to be mobile, we want to be up to date, we want solid fallbacks, we want a high, a high uptime, and we want it to be affordable. What does that look like? So let's say that we have a folder structure. So we have a folder structure, right? And in this folder structure, we have files. What we want to be able to do is create a search bar. So we want a certain, you know, Obsidian already has a, I would say, okay, search <laughs> on mobile. Obsidian search on PC and desktop in general is phenomenal. It's super fast. It's super uh, reliable. But I find that on my phone, I really don't feel inspired to search Obsidian at all. And I've kind of made attempts by using things like advanced URI application to search Obsidian from my home screen. And then it will go and open the search in Obsidian, but then it has to like index the vault and stuff like that. So I don't even really want to do that. Ideally, the way that this should be function is when I say mobile first, it means it will work on web too. It should be an app that we s hit this search bar and then it returns just a list of items that are in our search. This is very functionally similar to Google, right? Like there is a, a reason that people like Googling things so much. And I think that the primary reason that people like Googling things so much is that it just works no matter what word they type in. 
I want to build something like this. I want to build something where I can search any word. It will go and check Obsidian. And then if it can't find it through, and this is actually semantic. If it can't find it, it will fall back and search the web normally. Um, or, or pull up a link and say, Hey, like I, I didn't find it because semantic search, I think the state of the art semantic search is roughly at like 55% or 60% accuracy. So I don't know what black magic they have going on with the page rank algorithm at Google. Uh, but I would say most of the time I'm happy with what Google has, but I spend all of this time indexing information into my obsidian directory that i would really love to be able to go through that first and not have repeat information fall into my obsidian i find that sometimes the notes tend to balloon but then there are certain thoughts that get duplicated and i'm like oh maybe this belongs somewhere else but i don't know where it belongs because i've lost the original note right so being able to semantic search obsidian would be cool. So let's let's move a little bit faster. Let's talk about maybe some ideas of where my head's at because I've already been working on this problem for a while in different shapes and forms. But let's talk about in my mind what I think the final product could look like. So let's say that you're on Telegram. So let's say that you open Telegram and you open a chat with your search bots and then you type in who is who who was oldest king of france and then your search bot says so let's say that you sent that as like a message then the bot sends back those triple dots and then after it's done thinking, it returns, here's what I found. And then it'll have multiple links. So it'll be like um, Louis, whatever, 14. And then it'll have the Eiffel Tower. Um, but most importantly, what it'll, these will be links. So you'll be able to just automatically link to these pages in Obsidian. So Obsidian should be able to skip the indexing step, is my hope. But then, so like, let's say that this is case one. So we can put it up here, and then we can put case two down here. So this is case one where there's actually data in your, in the obsidian folder or the markdown folder. And then here's case two where it finds nothing. So this is kind of how I imagine the final app looking something. There's a lot of stuff that happens under the scene, under the hood here. <laughs> there's a lot of things that I'm hand waving for simplicity's sake right now, but basically it starts off with users asking a question to the search bot, the search bot thinking, and then doing its semantic search. And then if it finds stuff that is above a certain threshold, it returns the results as well as a link to the file with an Obsidian URI to open it in Obsidian. Or it automatically falls back to Google where you can just Google search it like normal. So I think that that's a good place to start. 